Today's discussion uh, is going to be uh, about uh, the introduction of the PAPA, or Positive Air Pressure Attenuator, into the uh, mid to high rise buildings. Now what the PAPA is, is essentially a shock arrestor for the drainage waste vent system. The device was invented and patented by Harriet Watt University's in, uh, John Swafill and David Campbell, Dr. Campbell, uh, who developed this device. Uh, Stuart Erickson, who uh, was the inventor of the Studer brand uh, air emittance valves, uh, who had worked closely with um, Harriet Watt University in developing and working and ensuring that the product is a viable product for uh, the community, uh, approached them and said, you know, one of the issues that we have with uh, air emittance valves is that they do not relieve positive pressure air emittance valves do not relieve positive pressure. And we are limited in the utilization of air emittance valves in mid to high rise buildings because what happens is that the code stipulates that we are restricted to uh, four branch intervals from the top floor down uh, without having to have the input of a relief vent on the horizontal drain before it connects to the vertical stack which indeed must uh, continue to open atmosphere because you cannot relieve a uh, relief uh, vent with an air emittance valve. Positive pressure closes an air emittance valve down even tighter therefore ensuring that the air emittance valve will not open. So we couldn't obviously uh, take a relief vent and terminate it to an air emittance valve. That being said, then as if you were in a 10-story building, you're looking at only five floors of having air, the top five floors having air emittance valves at that location. The other uh, floors, you would have to have a relief vent, which means that the individuals installing the system would probably not choose to use air emittance valves since they have to have the relief vent anyway they were going to go ahead and utilize uh, a traditional venting method. So when uh, they were presented with this proposition, uh, Professor uh, Swafil and his staff uh, started doing his investigative work, doing their empirical research, if you will. And as they went through the process, which was countless hours, uh, over a million 200,000 calculations, uh, utilization of the AirNet system, which has been in development for over 20 years at Heritage Watch, which is a computerized system that has proven to be 99% uh, 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 accurate in predicting responses of uh, trap seals and uh, air response and drainage waste systems. Uh, this system was utilized, and what they came up with is the PAPA, Positive Air Pressure Attenuator. Now what this enables you to do is re actually replace a relief vent in the uh, drainage waste vent system uh, by attenuating the shock waves. If you think about the uh, perfect shock arrestor for a water hammer system, it would be a hole in the pipe, wouldn't it? Yeah. Uh, obviously you'd be spilling water out, but but it would, you wouldn't have water hammer. Otherwise it would be perfect. Yeah. A hole in the pipe would be perfect. So what they've discovered is that in a traditional drainage waste vent system, in a mid to high rise building, that once water reaches terminal velocity, a discharge of an appliance into a vertical stack, the uh, water soon reaches terminal velocity. In other words, anywhere from six to 27 feet, water is now going to be circulating around the sides of the pipe and not just cascading down the pipe, uh, pulling air with it. Now, when it reaches a change in direction or the base of the stack, what they discovered was a curtain of water forms for a brief moment. Now, in this brief moment, as this water occurs, the air that's following bounces off this curtain and travels right back up the stack. Now, 
the problem with this is that this shock wave, or transient if you will, that's traveling back up the stack is traveling at sonic speeds. We're talking 1,057 feet per second. Now, that's pretty dramatic. That's something that no one had really anticipated. Everybody always knew about the hydraulic jump that forms at the base of the stack, but that's further on down the stack. What we're talking about is something that's new. And what they discovered was pretty amazing. They discovered that uh, the relief vent that was thought to relieve this positive pressure was actually relieving no more than maybe 30% of this transient that was traveling back up the stack. Now, the reason that they discovered that it was not going back up the stack was generally because the relief vent is smaller than the um, waste stack. A four inch waste stack would generally have a two inch uh, relief vent. Energy is going to follow the path of least resistance. So it's traveling right back up the stack. When you look at uh, a high rise building, I'm sure you gentlemen have been in one and notice wow, the water in the toilet's moving. In the past, we've always been told that's gust of wind. And maybe it could be. But what we, right, but what we, but what we now know for a fact is that these transients are actually impacting these trap seals. These transients can deplete a floor drain. Um, many times uh, in a mid to high rise building, uh, individuals have come to me and said, Pat, you know, I, I keep losing trap seal. Is it, do you think it's just evaporation? And in the past, I've told them, I said, yeah, it's probably just evaporation. You need to put a, either a trap, um, a trap primer or in lieu of that, maybe put a little oil on top of the water so that you know, it won't evaporate so rapidly. But that's really not going to solve the problem. The problem is, is those transients are banging on those trap seals and depleting them. We know that now. Uh, and so this is all part of a Swalfield's research that he did in completing and developing this device. So what was the solution to that? If that's, if that's really occurring, how do we uh, take care of these transients that are occurring in the system that are very uh, potentially uh, dangerous? In fact, uh, that's part of the problem that occurred in Amoy Gardens is these transients help deplete these trap seals, causing them to uh, be empty, causing the sewer gases to enter into the habitable environment, being sucked in by the uh, high efficiency exhaust fans, contaminating the environment and uh, spreading this uh, terrible virus. All this being said, what we now know is that by the utilization of the PAPA device, positive air pressure attenuator, and utilizing air emittance valves, which respond to the uh, negative pressures that occur in the stack at the point of need. In other words, you have an air emittance valve in your branch. The water discharging and uh, that has reached terminal velocity is going by and instead of relying on a traditional vent that could take up to a second and a half in a um, high-rise building to respond to that issue as it goes by that branch and lose a little trap seal they've discovered that the air emittance valve will respond in within two tenths of a second opening and allowing the trap seal to be maintained. So. Again, as the water goes down, it reaches terminal velocity, it goes to the base of the stack, that shock wave is formed, now it will come back up. The pompa will attenuate that shock wave from 1,057 feet to less than uh, 40 feet per second in less than two tenths of a second. 